the Eat for Yeso restaurant. Uh, fairly new restaurant here at Pioneer Square. Uh, we are focusing on seafood. Uh, one of those things we like to focus on and, and we're proud of is uh, the Gotu Island fish uh, from Japan. It's a farm raised fish from Japan that's uh, very humanely uh, killed uh, in Fujime style. So, uh, when possible, we'd love to use that fish. However, uh, post pandemic times, we're, we're kind of in a bind where we can't get that fish because Japan's having a much harder time than we are here in America. Our heart goes out to them, and hopefully it uh, all comes together pretty soon. But like some of the best tasting fish I've ever had. However, it's not available right now because nobody's fishing for it. There is no market for it. But all that said, uh, there are plenty of fish in the season, as they say, and we're here uh, cooking local halibut today. So come on in. So we have some local halibut here uh, from Alaska. Uh, kind of the middle, towards the end of the season right now, uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, pan sear some halibut. One of our more popular dishes is the pan seared halibut. We're doing it currently with an asparagus puree, uh, bacon cream, so a little bit of asparagus and morel mushrooms. So I'm going to make that for you right now. Start with a little bit of oil in the pan. Get it nice and hot. This, this pan was sitting here for a minute, so it's obviously very hot. Never want to load a cold pan. That's how you get the fish to stick to it. Hot pan, never stick. I say that. You want to season your fish generally, generously. If you just use a little salt, I don't use pepper. Pepper just more of a flavoring agent than a seasoning tool for me, um, and I don't think a nice delicate white fish needs black pepper. So I'll use it. So one of the biggest mistakes people make on uh, cooking fish is they tend to move the pan and move the fish around and play with it. We don't want to do that. Just, just let it be, let it cook. This is a really hot area right here. A little less hot over here, so I'm kind of cooking right in between that at about a medium high heat. I'm going to start the vegetables in the second pan. I like to use butter for this. Butter is a little bit better flavor than uh, the oil I use for the fish, which is very neutral. I have some pearl onions. I'm just going to put those. Cut side down. That might be uh, this. I'm going to put those cut side down. So I get a little bit of brown on that. Our fish is doing well over here. As you see, it's not sticking. And, uh, we've done our job there. But we still don't want to move it around and just kind of get a nice sear and some brown on that. I have a fish batch over As those onions are cooking, I'm going to add a couple of morel mushrooms. Can I have a couple more morel mushrooms, please? And another spear of a asparagus. We got a nice low heat here, medium heat here. Doing good. I'm going to check the sear on that fish. Not there yet. But add a little bit of butter to the pan as well for the flavor. Butter spear, oh thank you. There's some nice large morel mushrooms. There we go. So we can cook the pan or the fish in the pan entirely. However, we have a we have an oven. We're going to pop this in real quickly just to speed things up a bit. Always turn the fish away from you when you're flipping it so it doesn't splash on you. Uh, we got a nice brown color on that, looking really good. Uh, oven. Beautiful. 
couple minutes in there. Let's finish our vegetables. Looks like it needs a little bit more butter in the pan here. I'm going to go ahead and add the asparagus. Got some nice brown on those onions. It looks really good. Mushrooms are cooking. Got a couple of asparagus pieces as well. We've got a couple different sauces we're going to pair this with. This is a uh, asparagus puree. Uh, basically just asparagus and some vegetable stock put together, a touch of cream in there. We call it a asparagus velouté. So that's going to go on the bottom. Our fish will sit on top and we'll garnish with these vegetables. And then I've got a couple different sauces as well. I've got a vanilla bean gastrique, which is just vanilla, uh, vanilla, uh, vanilla bean, lemon juice, and sugar, reduced down to kind of a syrup, so it's kind of got that savory, uh, sweet taste. But it's going to pair really nicely with this bacon cream that we have as well. The bacon and vanilla really pair well together. And then the asparagus morels and the fish is people are loving it. People are loving it, let's just say that. That's not, it's not really ready to go. Come over here. Finish the dish. Put this a couple minutes in the oven. Try to get the doneness of this. My touch uh, it should have like a kind of a springy touch to it. Still, you don't want to fully cook the fish. It should be kind of like a medium, medium, medium well on the inside. And I think this is right where we want it. So let's start with the, with the sauce. It's going to go in the center of the plate. Spread it out just a, a wee bit. Fish here, just pat it dry from that oil, pair it off to one side. And I've got my vegetables. Go ahead and put some of the mushrooms on there. Carefully arrange everything nicely. The asparagus tips, kind of just leaning up against that. Uh, onions. Good so far. So then that vanilla uh, bean gastrique is very strong, so we just do a really light drizzle over the top. And then we aerate a bacon cream. So it's cream that's been infused with, with bacon. And then we just aerate it with a, with a cappuccino frother. Spoon some of that cream right up there and goes right over the top. Clean up our pan, or plate rather. There you go. A couple garnishes. We have some pea shoot garnishes, some greenery. Halibut. Asparagus, velouté, morel mushrooms, asparagus, vanilla gastrique, and a bacon cream. Thank you.